Drakus X TV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. What's good, you guys? Shirako ZXTV talking to right now. Welcome to the new series on the channel, Yu Gi Oh! Hold up. Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution. Okay, we just needed the freaking title for that one. But yeah. But yeah, this one's mainly a freaking port to the Switch. Basically, the same thing from the PS4 and Xbox onto the Switch with the added bonus of adding brains. So, what we're gonna do is go into brains. Not Yu-Gi-Oh, not GX, not 5 not Zexo, not Arc 5, but we're going into Reigns because that's like the most, that's like the most recent in the series overall. And, and I feel like we're going to go nowhere if we're going to go all the way backtrack to the original. Alrighty, so we're going to go to the most, the most recent, the most common, that's hip, that is here, that is right now, and that's Reigns. So we're going to the first chapter. My name is Playmaker. So if you have today's episode, make sure that like button support is greatly appreciated the channel. It's been a long time since I touched Yu-Gi-Oh! games, so glad we're going to, through this. In this lesson, I'll explain how to link summon a link monster. A link summon is a special way of summoning a link monster from an extra deck. Let's take a look from a link monster. Link monsters have dark blue friends, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each link monster has a link rating. This indicates the number of link materials you will need to send from the field to the graveyard to link summon this link monster. Link monsters have no defense value. They cannot be set and cannot be blah blah blah. Previously, you can only summon monsters from the extra deck to one of the center extra. Previously, you could summon only monsters from the extra deck to one of the center extra monster zones. Now you can summon them to the extra monster zone and to any mon main monster zone in the as a link monster. If a link or appears to the opponent's main monster zone, your opponent can summon an extra deck monster there. Now let's try sync su link summon. So I'm guessing this is just the intro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First, let's get a monster field. Summon car trooper. Let me play, god damn it. Okay, we got car trooper. Dude. Why are we getting this backseat tutorial? Yes. Bro, what's with this? Bro, what's with this backseat gaming going on? Hello? What's the point of that? Call the hunted, let's go. Or Monster Reborn. We can do that. Hackworm. Jack Wavern. What are you bringing out? Cracking Dragon. Bruh! 3000! What's with this tutorial? Do I really have to go through this tutorial? Dude, that was that was hella garbage. What the heck? Even this is just already determined on what to do. In attack mode, let's go. While you're at it, go ahead and special summon glow ball from the graveyard. All right, let's go. Attack mode, let's go. Dot Scaper has been sent to the grave. Let's special summon that too. Anywhere is fine, by, by all means. Okay, we got enough means to do this, so. Select Draconet. Draconet. Select Protron. This tutorial stage is really annoying. This could have been done off screen time. That... Link Spider. Special Sun. Hey, we got at least got a full stage going on. I'd rather someone scrap Archfiend, to be honest. 
Select the cards to the graveyard. We got this one. One monster gives us one link. We summon Link Spider in attack mode. We cannot do that anything else. Then we can do it again. <coughs> Select Link Spider. Activate effect. Dragon Tuner. Yo. Decode Talker. Alrighty then, we got Decode Talker on the field. Alright, time to Secret Summon. Here we go. Scrap Archfiend. Really? Bruh. Why do I need to do this? Select link in infra filer. Bro, this is only the third turn and we're summoning like crazy here. Okay, now we got somewhere. Dude, it was pretty much an easy battle back when we had the 33 for 3000. Why do we need a select slot? Bruh. What's with this backseat gaming? Dude, it's... Oh my god. Now we'll fill it up onto the other side. Oh, hey, Gaia. Man, get rid of it. Wait a minute, we have freaking. Oh my god, we had. We had Call the Hunted. Then, what? Well, we could summon Scrap Archfiend. We could have done that before the, before the battle phase. Get the freaking vaccine gaming out of here. Excuse me. Story deck. You better not be giving me another freaking vaccine gaming out of this one. Oh, let's go. First to go. Select mode. One turn. Here we go. What do we got here? Draw face, standby. Literally did. Did, did, did Vrange just say, hey, let's get the freaking draw phase and just keep on going? Alright, no more to baby tutorial. Now we can have full control on what to do. I don't know what each of these monsters do, but it's something. Alright, here we go. We'll figure out what to do. You can special summon this card from your hand to your zone. Link monster points. You can only special summon Link Infra Filer once per turn. Drag connect when this card is normal summon. So you special summon one level two or lower number monster from your from your hand or deck in defense position. 
Ram Clouder. You can tribute one monster. Then when target one graveyard, special summon this card. Cyverse Wizard. Once return, you can have target one attack position monster. I think we'll go with this guy. Let's see, let's go. Let's see how dumb this can get. Okay, Honeybot, Cyverse Monster, Impact can target this on can target monsters this card. Neither neither players can target monsters this card points to with card effects, and those monsters cannot be destroyed in battle. Once per turn, at the end of the damage step, if your monster if your monster this card points to attack on your point Man, it's like whoever decides to put the description, they just made it real hard. Like Make it simple, not, don't make it so complex. Nowadays it's just, these effects are just ridiculous on wording it. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand to the zone. Do I got, yeah I do. Roxy Dragon, if a card you control would be destroyed in battle, you can destroy it. Let's go with Link Spider. Oh, never mind. hold up. We got one link, two links. His attack is 1400 though. Alright, no more babying around. Let's figure out how this goes. I think there was no point to that part. Yeah, there was no point if, it, if we're gonna do this. All right, your turn. The gore. Alrighty then. I haven't watched the dub yet, but can we? Thank you. And turn. I have yet to watch the dub. I only watched the sub, but the dub, the names is weird. That's all I can say. Foolish Burial, oh my god. And it's a high level card. Go Key Re Scorpio. Oh boy. Maybe we should have kept that. Here we go. You can tribute one monster. One when target one cyber's monster in your graveyard. Arizona can only special summon Link. Here we go, Cyber's Wizard onto the field. That in defense mode. That's great. Here we go. And we do piercing damage. I did not notice that. And here's another one. Oh god. If you do this for the rest of the turn, your monsters cannot attack except to attack that monster and your and if your cyber's monster attacks defense. Oh that explains it. Alright, your turn. Well what's with no spells and traps? We only got monsters for now. One for one. Oh no. Octo stretch. Goki face turn. Oh boy. Big boy, bear hug. It destroys it, then, ain't it? Chains. Oh god. Oh, it cuts half our attack. And we're getting cremated right now. 
Here we go. Big damage. When opponent monsters clutch a direct attack, shuffle all your opponent's attack into the deck. I'll take this. Hmm. When target once Iris monster in grave, you can special summon it. I rather have. You can special summon this card to your zone a link monster points to. We don't have no link monster, but. When opponent's monster to close an attack, shovels all your opponents. Basically, it says it sh sends them into it, right? Now, is there a card that says that effects can these cards cannot be affected mm -hmm. by it? We're gonna go by a whim right here. And hope for the best. Warrior returning of live. Link summon something. Another one. Link summon something. One for one. Zero for zero. Okay, this wannabe mirror force better work. Goki the Great Ogre. Here it comes. And it brings in more of those guys into the field. Suprex is 1800. Activate it. Let's go. Send it back. Now he has no monsters on the field. Oh, let's go. The cards are in our favor now. You can tribute one monster, then target in your graveyard. The only thing I'm afraid of is just its effect. You can trigger one monster when target. So that means we select this card and the Cyber's monsters that we'll get is Cyber's Wizard. Does this include the Link monsters or what? And then we get a Cyber's monster, right? Right, I'm trusting this one. Yeah, I might have screwed up, but here we go. Some of the suprex. Not so fast. Take that back. But the effect still activates. Damn it! Cuts half. And brings back another and another. Then it brings back the Great Ogre. And that guy comes back. Three of them. Yeah, don't hate how I play. It's just... Sure, we're playing the most recent of the series. But I don't know anything about this deck. That's for sure. It's been a long time since I touched it. Oof. Hmm. All link monsters you control gain 300 attack. Once per turn, you can target one in the graveyard and shuffle into attack. If this card is on the field, it is just. 
Cynet Universe? This software needed to close due to an error. Do you allow Natoru to share error information? What error? Huh? 